Taylor Hall joining me here, uh, another uh, summer training session wrapping up here at the BMO Center in Bedford. And maybe Taylor, tell me a little bit of why, why you're here on the East Coast. Here we are getting into late August. Yeah, it's, um, it's uh, the home of Sid and Nate, obviously, but uh, also my trainer, Andy O'Brien, spends a lot of time out here and invited me out for a week. Um, you know, sometimes in the summer you're, you're training in one place the whole time, yeah. like I am in Toronto, and it's nice to get a break once in a while and go train somewhere else. And, um, you know, skate with these guys. They have a, a really intense skate. Um, uh, so it's been fun to, to be here and just get away from Toronto and, and get some good yeah. training and skating in for sure. Impressions. Again, uh, you're here this week, two skates, uh, just wrapping up the second one here. What were your impressions of this group? Yeah, um, you know, obviously Sid and Nate pushed the, uh, pushed the pace pretty well. Um, you know, having Marshawn here today was, was interesting. And um, along with the other guys, um, you know, they, they might not be high profile names, but Everyone tries their hardest, and, and uh, it makes for a, um, a pretty intense skate for uh, for the end of August. So, been really enjoyable being here. Taylor, last year, 33 games, 38 points over a point a game, uh, and then the injury, the knee injury. Tell me a little bit of where you are. I know you're obviously back on the ice, and uh, how confident you are going into next season. Yeah, I feel really good. It's uh, you know, it's been a long process. Um, not playing a game for that long really really takes a toll on you mentally, and. But uh, you know, being back on the ice and being able to play um, uh, at a at a pretty high intensity, even even though it's just the summer, feels really nice. So, um, haven't had any issues with the knee so far since I've been skating, and it's it's been a really good process. So, hopefully, that can continue into camp. Heading into camp, of course, some uh, new faces, additions uh, in the off season. Um, how do you feel about that going in? Many many suggesting that with your return. The Devils perhaps will find a greater success with the newcomers as well. Yeah, we're hoping for a, for a playoff berth this year. I think anything less would be would be disappointing. Um, certainly, some new faces. Um, you know, a guy like Subban, who's had a lot of success in the league before. Um, you know, a couple of unknowns with uh, with Gustav and Hughes, but highly skilled players that can um, hopefully make a huge impact on our team. And I think they have a skill to do so. And, uh, you know, Wayne Simmons, a, a known commodity, uh, someone who's who's looking to bounce back, and I think he has it in him. We played against him for a long time in the league and know how hard he is to play against. So, um, you know, with those four guys and, and hopefully a, a healthy year for us, hopefully we can do some damage. Yeah. Second second half of the season wiped out for you, but the year before, the, the Hart Memorial Trophy winner, 90-plus 90, 90 points that year, and what a great year it was for you. Going back, obviously, confident going in here. Is that where you'd like to be, have another season? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, that gives me a lot of confidence that I was able, able to do that in the past. Um, obviously, for me, it's it's more about the team this year. Hopefully, we can uh, get back to where we were that year. I think you know, no one wins a hard trophy unless the the team make, makes a playoffs and and, uh, and has a successful year. So, uh, not really putting any pressure on myself to have another season like that personally. But as a team, hopefully, we can get back there. And finally, here in this uh, part of the world, uh, many following Nico Hischer, young young talent. Uh, what what can you tell me about what you've learned about him over the last year or so? Yeah, he's uh, he's a great kid. He's got a lot of personality and, and someone who comes to the rink every day and works hard and, and really has a passion for the game. So um, it's been a lot of fun uh, seeing him grow. Um, that first season we played together, we had a lot of success. Um, last year with injuries and whatnot, we weren't able to uh, to get to that level again, but. Uh, you know, hopefully he keeps maturing as a player and, and uh, w within his body as well. So, um, yeah, he's, uh, uh, he loves Halifax. Yeah. He talks about it a lot and uh, certainly has a lot of good memories from here. But uh, looking forward to seeing him again at camp. Yeah. Taylor, great to see you back, uh, back on the ice. And uh, we, we look forward to following you in the season. Thanks again. Thank you, man.